People Are Strange. Great Doors tune. Of course, uh, came out later on. It was released as a single first, but recorded and then came out on the, their uh, album Strange Days in the late 60s. Um, great little guitar picking thing that Robbie Krieger does in there. A lot of different ways of playing it. Sometimes I show people exactly the way it goes on the record. Sometimes I change it a little bit, but mostly I like you to understand the chord progression to it and then you can kind of make it your own a little. So the, uh, cause all he was doing was really messing around with an E minor chord and an A minor chord and then a B7. It's just really a blues tune in the key of E minor with a couple of modifications. Of course, the chorus goes into B7s and Gs, which is a nice little twist on the key of E minor, because usually when you hear your B7 chord, that's in there to get you back to chord one, which would be E minor. So anyway, this is an example of the types of lessons that we have at totallyguitars.com. And I just, I love teaching people classic rock songs because there's just so much you can learn from them. Sometimes it's just nice little arpeggios and things like that, which is exactly the case in People Are Strange. To get you a little head start on People Are Strange, it starts with a, it's going to revolve around an E minor shape and an A minor shape, and the main thing I like to have people do is keep those fingers together as they move up and down from E minor when they're on the fifth and fourth strings to the A minor shape where they'd be on the fourth and third strings. So it opens up with this little descending bass part, B, a, and G. B is, of course, on the second fret of the fifth string. A would be open, and G would be the third fret of the sixth string. Then get to an E minor chord and start this alternating down-up pattern for our E minor arpeggio. Also, really important in this song, is that you understand the idea of swing time, where the downs and the ups are not equal, or the eighth notes are not like this. They're played bouncy, where the ands are late. One, and two, and three, and four. So we have the first, first four eighth notes just straight from the sixth of the third strings, alternating down and up. And then that last one, the fourth one I hit, is held for another eighth, which means as I come back, it's up again. Up on the fourth string, down on the fifth string, and the very last up of the measure, is you finally take off the E minor chord and drop to the first fret of the fifth string, adding a B flat in there before you hit the A in the A in the bass leading into the A minor chord. Here that is, really slowly. We've got B, A, G. Then I'm on the E minor chord, hitting the sixth, fifth, fourth, and third strings, resting on an a, on a down, and then catching the fourth string and the fifth string and then moving to the first fret of the fifth string before I hit A in the bass. So, if, uh, if you'd like to see more of this lesson, if you'd like to see me finish the song, come over to Totally Guitars, jump into the Recommend a Lesson section, and make sure to put People Are Strange in there, because that's how we decide what lessons we're going to do, and everybody can vote on ones that are already up there. So if you see songs you'd really like to see, or learn, or see a full lesson on at least, be sure to vote on it and, and tell your friends too. So there's all, all kinds of other cool stuff at Totally Guitars. Hopefully you can check out the forum and the community, the, some uploaded videos by students, and some of the other videos that we have here at uh, various channels and, and just spread out all over the place. So hope you can come visit us at totallyguitars.com real soon.